Hi, I'm Chef Michael P. Clive, and I'm here to show you a delicious side dish made in minutes using a microwave. We challenge Canadians to challenge me to create a dish they didn't think would be easily executed using a microwave. Helen challenged me to a scallop Savoy cabbage. Now, I love this challenge because it's a great alternative to a classic dish. Let's get started. First things first, with our scallop Savoy cabbage, we want to make that cream sauce. The sauce we drizzle the potatoes and cabbage and onions with. We just want to take butter. We want to melt that in our Panasonic microwave for about a minute. All right. We have melted butter. Now we want to add the flour and create a roux. And the idea here is to create a milk-based cream sauce the traditional way. We're gonna season it with salt and pepper, and then we take milk. We whisk it in. Now, what we have to do here to create this sauce and get it thick and happening with the flour and the butter, we need to send it back to the microwave for a few minutes. We'll cover it with a little plastic film, and into the microwave, this will go. Okay, and look at that. We just use our fork to stir it together. Now, a scallop dish wouldn't be a scallop Savoy cabbage dish without the layering of the vegetables. So we'll put our cream sauce aside and we'll get our two core casserole dish down in front. We're gonna do layers of potato, onion, cabbage. We should also say that you wanna make sure your casserole dish is lightly greased. And so we do our layer of potato followed by a generous layer of the onion and then we reach for the Savoy cabbage. We're gonna do layers of it as well. So what we have here, two layers of potato, two layers of onion, and two layers of the Savoy cabbage. We're gonna press it down with our hands, and then we're gonna finish it with some Swiss cheese on top. And now we add that creamy bechamel sauce we talked about earlier. Now we wanna cover it, and we're gonna send it back to the microwave for another 10 minutes at a power level of 10. We're going to remove the plastic film, we're going to be careful not to burn ourselves on the steam, and I can just smell that cream sauce mixed in with the cabbage and the potatoes and the onion, super flavorful. And just by inserting a fork or a knife, I can feel it smoothly goes through those layers of potato, onion and cabbage. This is very tender, this is ready to go. So we'll basically slice it up and plate it. Right now we'll finish it with a nest of thinly sliced green onion on top. I gotta say thanks Helen for the tasty challenge. And for more great recipes, tips, and exciting promotions, be sure to like us at our Panasonic Facebook page and come back and check out those updates at facebook.com Panasonic Cooking Canada.